The corporate social investment worth 300,000 was initiated in 2020 as part of a strategic intervention to support health delivery in Ghana. Chief Executive Officer of the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital, Dr. Eric Kofinjedu, indicated the hospital recorded 26 maternal deaths in 2020 at a ratio of 903 to 100,000 live births compared to 28 reported in the previous year with a corresponding ratio of 925 to 100,000 live beds. Even though there was an improvement, he indicated the hospital was worried about the numbers and would work to reduce the numbers. Both fatum hemorrhage accounted for the highest number of these deaths, which is not different from the previous years. It was in this light that the hospital board in 2019 tax management to implement recommendations made by the technical and planning committee of the board to renovate and revamp the hospital blood bank to improve the availability of blood and blood-related products. Management sought for support from MTM Foundation and that request gave birth to this beautiful edifice we are commissioning today. Management has also intensified training of staff on the management of complications such as hypertensive disorders in pregnancy and postpartum hemorrhage for improved quality maternal health outcomes. In addition, the hospital will continue to work with the Ghana Health Service and heads of other referring hospitals to improve maternal health services delivery and improve outcomes. The Cape Coast Teaching Hospital CEO says it used its collaborative partnership as a vehicle to secure expansion of the pharmacy storage facility from benevolent organizations and the construction of the facility has been completed and handed over to the hospital. Chief Corporate Services Executive of MTN Ghana, Samuel Crunchy, noted at the commissioning of the Blood Bank that the investment symbolizes the company's unwavered commitment towards improving the lives of Ghanaians. The MTN Ghana Foundation has over the years been very instrumental in blood donation campaigns in the country. The construction of this facility therefore serves as a good monument of our contribution to the collection and storage of blood in Ghana. We are even more excited because we are making a significant contribution to the health needs of the people of this region and Ghana at large. Data on blood donation from 2016 to 2019 reveals the percentage of voluntary donations in Ghana is around 35%. The current situation, the Ghana Health Service says, is woefully inadequate to respond to emergencies. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyakon, Cape Coast.